Um, okay, because I only had one pre-cut last year, so I was just more focused on teaching. Than, but now I have, I'm going over the same problems again. Um, okay, so inverse properties. Very, very, very important thing for you guys to learn about inverse properties. And we're gonna use what we talked about for, uh, we're gonna use what we talked about for one-to-one -one properties and on our inverse properties. So here's a couple key steps. All they really say is whenever you're taking a log, and this works for ln2, ln of x raised to the, you know, I don't know, y equals y as well. I'm sorry, that's e. Whenever you have your base and you're evaluating what your base is for the same logarithm, whenever you say, you know, I'm evaluating for e, base e, that's going to equal 1. So if I have it raised to an exponent, that equals what my exponent is. So you guys have to understand this. This is very important. And you guys also have to understand, if I have a log base a of x equals x, if I raise it to whatever my base was, those are going to cancel out and going to leave me with x. So here's two different problems, all right? And here's how we use inverse properties and our one-to-one -one properties, right? Remember our one-to-one -one properties say, one-to-one um, -one properties were this, a to the y equals a to the x, y equals x, and the other one was log of a of x equals log a of y, x equals y, okay? So when I have these two problems, um, let's take a look at this. Let's say I have 3 to the x equals, let me go over here, 3 to the x equals uh, 7. All right? Now, by using our one-to-one -one properties, all I know is I can I can raise both of these to the same power, or I could also take the logarithm of both sides, right? It says if I take the logarithm of both sides, that's perfectly fine. Because these two, what are these still gonna equal each other? So let's take the log of 3x equals the log of 7. Now, here's where the inverse property is gonna come in. Rather than picking base 10 as my log, if I pick my base to be 3, right? This little Phase three, phase three, I can now use my inverse property to say, hey, log base three of three, that's gonna now give me one, right? Because three raised to what number gives you three? One. So now this, what it does is it cancels out and just leaves me with x. So this whole thing cancels out, and I'm just left with x equals log base three of seven. Where now by using your calculator, you can use change of base formula. So you get log base seven over log base three. Does anybody have any questions on how I did that? So what I did is I combined with the one-to-one -one property, which I know I didn't talk about in that last video, but you can take the log of both sides, right? And then you just use your inverse property up here, Miranda. You use your inverse property up here to evaluate this. Let me show you one more example. Remember you guys, remember you guys were kind of mad because I was giving you easy problems, right? You're like, yeah. three to the x equals 27, yeah. that's easy, right? But what if I give you this? Um, okay, so for this problem, um, well, it's still even an easy problem, but still I want you to understand. So this problem, you, you have to evaluate, right? So I know this problem's you know, actually fairly simple. You can actually do this one in your head as well. But what I want you to understand, at least the process of it, is I can use my one-to-one -one property. And here's what I'm gonna do. And here's like the jump you guys need to make. Because here's a logarithm, right? But you guys, what I told you last class, I told you last video that and I believe everybody understood that was true, correct? That was true, everybody believes this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so if I just said x equals one, right, for whatever number, I can put this to the power, I can make these as powers for anything. I can say 99 to the x is equal to 99 to the first, x still has to equal one, correct? Right, so what I can do is I can raise these two I can raise these as the power to any base that I want to. 
Now, the thing is I need to pick what base do I want to pick, choose. Well, I'm going to want to use my inverse property to help me make that decision. So by looking at what this inverse property tells you, what base do you guys think I'd want to raise this to? I'm sorry, what, what exponent do you, what base would these like to be raised from? One. You're going to want to choose what your base is of your logarithm. So if I raise 7 to the log base 7 of x equals 7 squared, now what happens is, what happens to this? Follow this through and it cancels out. So x equals 49. Okay, so what you guys are going to be doing today in your problems is you're going to be using these properties to manipulate the equation. Okay, it's a big step, it's a big jump. All right, there's going to be some problems that's going to be pretty difficult. But just understand these properties and you guys will be all right.